Yes, my precious little tools. You are mine now, and I will treasure you. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our journey beyond the abyss. So, let's see what's on the agenda for today. I think there's really nothing for it but to just keep on pushing through the quests. So, we need to make a part chest. Lame. I never use the part chest for anything. It's going to take nine more glue, and I don't think I'm going to hunt down a chest. I'm just going to build it. So I'm going to need lots of glue, which effectively means I'm going to need lots of refractory clay for the slime balls, if nothing else. Yep. Making glue is going to be our major user of uh, of resources for a little while, I think. Let's see, I have a stack of that. I don't have a stack of that. Well, the good news is now that we have infinite shovel, digging out more space for the sugarcane farm is much easier. And what's more is... Uh, Digging out more space in the sand will also grant us additional sugar gain, so win-win. Although it's looking like we might have a sufficient crop for the moment, at least for producing the next little bit of glue. Yeah, but let's be a little bit excessive. It's fine to be a little bit excessive every once in a while. Yes. I think this is a little bit faster than the Minecraft shovel we were using before, too. And it's granting us just a little drip feed of bonus experience. Just a nice little additional perk of the job. And you see that... Uh, I think that just after a couple of rows, we would be running out of shovel on the previous one. But this has a little bit more cheftiness to it. And that's not even getting into the fact that we can simply repair it with a piece of prismarine. So yes, we have vastly improved our lives making these tinker tools. And it is just a good, wonderful, beautiful feeling. Oh, that one dropped into the water. Ah, but yes, this episode is likely to be just a little bit of a grind. We have probably maxed out our really fast progression for... Eh, well, we could push for the smeltery. We could push for a little bit more advancement. But pretty soon we're going to be reaching a point where advancement is not going to be coming as easily, and we're going to be stuck uh, kind of processing resources, grinding up more, and we're, we're kind of going to start entering into the long-haul section of the mod pack. Huh. Is that Pete? That must be. Interesting. Let's keep the sand piles, just so that we can uh, compact them. Yes, might as well. One more. There. No harm in having a little bit of sand on hand. There. And our slime has probably been done for a little while. Let's just get more pulp going. I really can't wait until I can automate this process a bit more. I need that. And no, I don't.
don't have a full stack of. Mm. Maybe I should make some more soaking pots just for the sake of producing this a stack at a time. Mm. Could put them on this side. That would still be easy filling. Yeah. So, soaking pot. One, two, three, four. Need eight of those. Need eight of those. And two of those. Pair those up with the two in here. Yes. Further parallelization. That's usually the answer. We might as well be excessive. Just in the name of our own impatience. stack at a time processing. Why not? Now, you know, it occurs to me, there's something we can do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If I, why not, let's make it out of prismarine. And what do I need for chisel? I just need a tool rod. Okay, well, let's get another copper tool rod, I guess. Yes, I'm going to make myself a Tinker's Chisel. That is, um, it operates just like your normal old, um, the chisel from Chisel Mod. And, and that will be the unlocking point for quite a number of exciting things, actually. It is going to unlock a really easy money exploit with the Millionaire Village it is going to allow us to start decorating the base more effectively. And it even technically will allow us to partially um, get over the weight limit. Not by much, but a little bit. I'll show you what I mean. Just as soon as I get it assembled, And I guess we're going to need to waste the last of our patterns in here, but that's okay. It's fine. So, prismarine chisel head. And assemble. 1,000 durability. Not too bad. So, the chisel. Yes, as you see, it's just your normal old chisel. And that has an internal inventory. So if I had pick up something really heavy, like these copper blocks or something, I can put that in the internal inventory, and you see I get all the options for all the different types of copper it can be, but yeah, that is not in my inventory. It's in the chisel's inventory. So even though I'm still carrying around six blocks of copper, I'm not weighed down like, I w like I'm carrying six blocks of chopper. So uh, yeah, that is the sneaky early way of getting around the weight limit, at least for one stack. So, if you want, you could build a whole bunch of chisels. They're not terribly expensive. You could just build them out of stone and stone for your carrying ones, or wood and wood, or whatever is cheapest. And yeah, you could use those to just, um, just sneakily put stacks of whatever in them as you're picking it up, and uh, you could use that to help you out with mining. In any case, 16 glue. Sixteen glue out of how many am I gonna need? I'm gonna need a pattern chest. Yes, that's nine plus twelve more. So you're gonna need twenty-one in total. Hmm. 
Well, I have a bit more than enough. Why not? So, that's going to be eight wood for of those. And a piece of iron. Yes, you see why I went hunting for chests instead of uh, instead of building them like this, because they are a little wee bit expensive. I'm gonna need more blank patterns, of course. Let's just grab a nice stack of wood. Grab all our tool rods. Grab um, what else was it? I needed. I needed this. Yes, let's just grab it all. And I should be able to just go in here and say, yes, there. That's an easy one. Well, I already had it on there. <laughs> Derp. Oh, I'm going to need more coal tar pretty soon. Hmm. Yeah, well, no, no, no. Not quite yet. It's only 10 per. Still, that is... That is something to keep my eye on, that I might need to assemble another block of coal soon for the purposes of, uh, for the purposes of crafting for those. And that should be quest. Good. Why not? Part. It was part, not pattern. Derp. Well, I kind of wanted a second pattern chest anyway. Because, as I've shown... Uh, I think I've shown once. These can carry tool... These can carry casts as well as patterns. So it's useful to have a second one for your smeltery. But that was purely my own idiocy. Yep. Well... Mm, that's... Unfortunate. That's truly unfortunate. Oh well. Well, we need to make some more tool rods. We need to make some more glue. We need to make some more refractory clay. Yes, my apologies. I just came off recording Breath Edge, so my brain is a little bit frazzled and tired, but I know there is no excuse. my fire starter there there is no excuse for idiocy that bad to be fair the part chest like I said that is a chest that I never use so in my mind I go like oh build the tinkers chest that's the that's the pattern chest right that's the only one you ever need we never use that other one we don't speak of it it doesn't exist Well, I have, uh, I have unintentionally created slight convenience for myself at unreasonable cost. Unfortunate. I am in need of more flint, aren't I? Yep. Well, good thing we got a real nice shovel for it. Just find us a nice big gravel plane. Yeah, this is looking like it might be nice. Oh, some more prismarine we can pick up just for just for uh, future entertainment purposes. Yep. And it doesn't matter that that put us overweight because we can just uh, keep that away in a nice sneaky secret spot. Yes, even if it can't be chiseled, it can still be put in the chisel's inventory slot. And notice that underwater, our shovel is even freaking faster. Yeah. Aqua Dynamic. Wonderful tool modifier. And now we're, exp we're exposing a nice uh, bit of ocean bed that we can explore in the future. 
Like, I've already seen a couple of... I think this is limestone. Yeah, and that's the limestone that generates chunks. Really unfortunate that Silk Touch isn't working here. But still... You know, that's Andesite. Still, just the fact that we can pick up a little bit of easy limestone, a little bit of copper, some tin. Yes, digging these deep gravel pits is easy and fast, and we'll explore a little bit of resources for us to invest into ourselves. And just doing this, we're going to reach, like, level... level craptillion, just from the fact that uh, we're gaining little balls of experience due to our copper tool rod. Which, I suppose, if I really wanted to be efficient, I could put Mending Moss on this. I think that Mending Moss isn't too terribly high-tech. Yeah, that's glue, ball of moss, and ball of moss is just moss stone with some easy to get. And I think moss stone is, um... Yeah, we can just soak some cobble. So if we wanted to, um... Yes, this Mending Moss is a Tinkerer's Construct modifier. It takes one of these three modifiers we have on a tool, and that gives a tool the ability to absorb a little bit of experience into itself. It has a little buffer tank that'll absorb like 100 experience, and it'll use that to slowly repair its own durability. Uh, you can also make a tool self-repairing by having a part of it made out of wood, but that's a very, very slow self-repair. Mending Moss is something like 10 times faster or so. And it's already pretty slow. That, 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 I don't care about. And let's just get what limestone we can and toss that. Good. Nice little cozy haul. Nice little cozy lag spike. All right, so. Let's go and crush this up. And that'll get us very nearly done. Always make sure to put that hammer back. And just like that, we have a nice collection of refractory clay to play with. Now let's, um, yeah, let's see here. Let's make a full 16 of it. So to do that, I'm going to need two of these stacks of refractory clay. I guess I'll turn these other two spare ones just into another stack of balls to keep in storage. I'm going to need two stacks of pulp, which will be the next thing I have to process. I got enough coal to get a burn going. Yes, exactly enough, in fact. I was getting paranoid about that, so let's do that. First of all, check. Do I have anything in here? No. So, just need to uh, take one of these and take one of these. And that should enclose it, yeah. And that is on all sides, so... Cheap-ass refractory burn. <laughs> on a budget. There we go. Nice half-stack O slime ball. I 
suppose I could just put one bucket in just to get a stack of uh, pulp going while I'm refilling. And that is... Yeah, but we are out of sugar cane otherwise. Dang, we are burning through it fast. Can I finish filling up all the pots before they burn down? Looks like it. Pretty easily. Well, nothing for it but to go dig in the sand and get some more, I suppose. Field needs to grow faster. Work faster, Mother Nature. Doesn't seem like it's dropping all that much sugar cane. But yes, yeah, you see, this shovel is lasting a lot, a lot longer. And there are modifiers we can put onto it that will increase that even further beyond. And materials we can put on it that will increase its durability by absurd amounts. We have only just begun the journey of munchkinry that is Tinker's Construct. And it is a very tall and wonderful tower of munchkinry that it forms. So let's take our chisel here and let's just uh, put that into our tool station. And just like that, full repair. Yep. That used two prismarine because our shovel was quite low, but uh, it's as easy as that. And yeah, note that it didn't even use durability on the chisel to do that. Yeah. Chisel is just a nice sneaky way around the weight limit really, really early on. That is the sound of hungering for tripe. Alright, so that's one stack of pulp. Get another one going. And I guess while that's cooking, check on my refractory burn. Yep, that's still going. Hmm, I could do something useless like increasing the refractory burn, but no. let's just get this prismarine entirely out of our inventory. There we go. And, uh,. I guess I could show you something I can do to earn a little bit of money. Yeah, that's an idea. A number of things in the game are chiselable. All sorts of blocks to form, all sorts of decorations, all sorts of uh, all sorts of decor things. Hmm, they're upgrading the church. They need some carpets. How do I make carpet? I would need to make a tailor's workshop for that. That's not undoable. But I guess that'll have to wait. But yes, see all these windows here. See how these cost eight silver and these cost just one? Well, if I buy a stack of those, then I can just take those and transform them into the more expensive ones. Now, 
remember we bought them for one silver each and we can sell them for seven and a half silver each. Yeah. That just earned us the toppest tier of reputation and that earned us uh, quite a lot of money. That earned us, I think, like... Oh... That, that earned us a couple of gold. So yes, if we can get them stocking up a nice number of these white glass stained windows, then we can earn lots and lots of money. We can earn enough money to start buying lives. Now, I think that all we need to do to ensure that they keep increasing the stock of white windows is we need to sell the glazier bones and we need to sell them sand or glass glass should be something that they make just on their own over time from their quarry like I think we saw in the town center that they were selling the stuff bones on the other hand eh, technically the village is stocking them but they tend to get really slow progress getting towards the glazer yeah these 30 bones here from the cow farm. There should be some in the pig farm. Just there's all the little animal farms have a stock of bones in them and we can go and uh, cart them over to the glazier every once in a while. Not to mention if we set up a mob spawner, a mob trap farm, then we could uh, farm skeletons for their bones. But um, that's a bit of a risk with the way Endermen are behaving, with the way, with some of the monsters that are going to spawn in the future. No, I don't think, I don't think we're going to want bone uh, monsters spawning anywhere near us. Yes, and, and uh, we have another type of food we could buy. We could buy uh, boudin noir, uh, black sausage. And they will buy carrots. Which, uh, let's just give them a nice stock of carrots just so that they're constantly working the pigs. It isn't really to make money. It's more that uh, so long as they have a stock of goods, they will convert it into animal products steadily. And uh, we have done quite a lot of work stocking the cow farm already. But... We haven't exactly given the pig farm a nice supply. So we might as well just give them a little boost to their production because they are another source of bones. Which is ultimately another source of white glass. Not super a lot a lot. I'm just going to get them like, I don't know... four or five stacks. <sighs> yeah, the, the carrot patch is small enough that I could feasibly farm the whole thing. You know, I suppose that now that they have a chicken farm, if theoretically I did do my boring farmer impression, then I could sell the seeds to the chicken farm, and I'd be earning a little bit more money per second. But the turnarounds on that are just not high enough to justify it at this point. Not when keeping the glazier stock should make us rich eventually. Yeah, that's good. Uh, yeah, so notice how uh, how lovely and advanced the quarry is looking now. Yeah, they've been upgrading this village to high heaven. But unfortunately, that's probably going to stop now that they've reached another soft lock. They need carpet for that church. 
and I don't think the town is really going to advance until they get it. I mean, it might. I don't know how many projects they can attempt at the same time. They're certainly building something right now. What is that? Let's visit the town center and see if they have any glass in stock that we can bring to the glazier. <clears throat> yep, they do. Let's just put a stack of that in there to give us movement. Uh, no, it didn't quite give us movement. You guys notice that... Uh, now they upgraded the fort. They have proper beds instead of sleeping mats. They've, they've been gradually getting more and more swanky over time. Do you have anything new to say to us now that we've been back from the abyss? Chief Questmaster, I'm assuming you had a look at the sub and survived. I'm talking to you, so obviously I survived. I found out that the sub was heading to a place called... Monument X. Yes, that wasn't... That wasn't the text going off, that was a dramatic pause. Monument X, you say? Sounds to me like they were heading to some sort of ancient ruin. Did you find out why the sub crashed? According to the ship's logs, the sub was attacked by pufferfish-like creatures. Yikes. Is there anything in the town records about this so-called Monument X? Let me look. Okay. There is nothing in the town records about Monument X except that it's marked the entrance to a so-called hidden cavern at the bottom of the initial trench. Maybe you should go see if you can find this hidden cavern. According to the town records, it should be within 40 blocks of the monument. Maybe you might find something interesting inside the monument itself as well. Uh, okay, judging by the ship's logs, it looks like I'm in for a fight. Yes. Where do I find those quests? Ah, here we are, quest 3. So, we won't be seeing Quest 3 until Engineer's Workshop, which is the end of this chapter. They, yeah, what were they doing? Okay, so they're currently upgrading. Yeah. They're trying to upgrade the church, but it looks like they're also upgrading the pork farm. Neat. So yes, they won't get softlocked entirely until both of their uh, both of their projects are impossible. And yes, we're losing a little bit of money on this, but the important thing is that we are stocking up the glass cellar with their base goods that they need. Get out of my way, door. And the game needs to realize that I'm no longer carrying around junk. Yeah, sometimes sometimes if you're selling things through a menu or you are uh, are um, just cycling your inventory quickly, the system doesn't update and you need to like throw something on the ground and pick it up in order to update. Just little little inconveniences. Huh, that one didn't even drop. A... Well, that's depressing. All right, well, without further ado, we now have a lovely collection of glue. We should have a lovely collection of glue. Why, why you know? That's slime ball. That's these and these. And these, and these. Oh, this is the carpenters. Ah, that's, that's the problem. Well, thankfully we can just uh, right over there and now we fixed it. Now we have a lovely collection of glue. And we have just enough sticks to give that another try. Although, unfortunately, we won't 
yeah, we need to make more refractory clay anyway in order to uh, increase our tier two tool sticks. So we need to get going on some more rods in order to do that. Yes, that is convenient, but I wouldn't have built it if I didn't derp massively. Oh well. In any case, let's build us a chest. Lovely jevely. And now let's make sure that we have a part chest queued up. Yes. Make sure that we got the correct thing this time, please and thank you. I picked up the wrong amount of stuff. The completely wrong amount of stuff. That's better. But we're still going to have to wait on the fact that we need to make those. How are we on the tier ones? Yeah, we're good on the tier ones. Are these tier ones? Yeah, they are. We'll use those first. And start pouring these out. I suppose it's not so bad now that we can largely produce all these things much more quickly and easily. It's still by no means good, but it's not as bad as it could be. Yes, the real drag is having to play this little stupid game here. Doing nothing but staring at the tap. You can't even just like automate the system and leave it to be. I suppose that if I really, really hated doing this, I could make some casting channels and lay out more tables, but with seared brick being hard to produce right now, I don't think that's in the cards. Seared brick... Seared stone, I should say. We could technically, um, if we got ourselves a smelter, then we could make it the old-fashioned way of just melting down stone, but we need to make a full smelter for that. And we could push for a full smelter. It wouldn't be that hard. We just need to melt a bunch of dirt, essentially. Uh, melt 12 dirt, make a bunch more seared bricks. I think that would be 20 for those bricks. Yeah. And then... Oh, no. That might not be 20 for those bricks. We could... Yes, I think if we cast a... You should be... Yeah, cast. That's one blocks, which is uh, four. So we could save a seared stone that way by casting it out into the table and then chiseling... Or, or casting it into a casting basin. But no, that would cost seven more seared stone to make a casting basin, so that would save us nothing. Not at the moment. It would save us a ton of bricks once we need a bunch of seared bricks for making a smeltery, though. As well as if there's any other uses of seared bricks. Seared heater, seared road, brick. Eh. Well, there's a couple. Yeah, then we can make a smoker. Seared brick chimney, I guess. Mm -hmm. uh, here in the blacksmith workshop, we'd need that for the armor forge and the tool forge. So there's a couple of uses for it, I suppose. But yes, by and large, what you want the casting basin and seared stone for is increasing the size of your smeltery. And we don't have a smeltery, we have a meltery. Such is life. All right, there we go. Now, if 
if the game will stop lagging. Yeah, I have more than enough on me. I probably don't have enough refractory clay, in fact. Nope, I had enough. All right, let's just keep that there. Let's pile up all our spare tier ones, gather, and then I need, I'm gonna need some more leather, aren't I? Yep, I need more leather. Well, thankfully, the animal farms will help us out on that. It might pay to check in on the town center anyway, just to see if more windows are being produced now. Get an idea of if and how fast, if they're being produced and how fast they're being produced. Yeah, see? They've got a lovely amount of it already. Actually, wait a minute. When I was last here, didn't I put a stack of glass in my chisel? I did. I need to sell that to the glazier. Good thing I stopped by. And I just realized that I have my artisan tools in my pocket. Sneaky little things. There. What are we doing for money? Yes. We're after a stack of gold coins. That will buy us a life at uh, the NPC market. The custom NPC market, I should say. There's no one around here, is there? Yep, I caught them forever away. Oh well. Just, oh, they don't have much leather. That's unfortunate. Well, let's check the other farms. What's up here? That's a quarry. That's a carpenter's house. That's another quarry. Oof. Gracious. You're getting a little bit over enthusiastic on those quarries. I guess the only other farm in town that would have leather would be the pig farm. what we got to use, so let's stop derping things up. Hmm. Arms merchant. Merchant to nutrition, I would guess? Yeah. Where are you? I guess she was just chatting with the merchants. <laughs> All right. Let's just grab us a nice stack of wood and let's make those patterns.
just make as many as we can at the moment. It's fine. And with that, we should be able to... Uh, we're missing two slabs. Yep. And the completely unnecessary parts chest that I absolutely hate. All it does is it holds Tinker's parts. And Tinker parts are something I'm never really going to hold on to. Hmm. Fine, we'll, we'll put it on the stack. Yeah, I think it would need to be touching the parts builder to... But we've already kind of got that lined up. Oh, well. I suppose that it kind of links with the armor and tool station. Eh. Yes, that is a tinker table that I will... a tinker chest that I will never use. Oh, we need to make us a dried brick. That is dead easy. Just put that on the old cooker and wait. Why do I have a stone shovel? Away with you. All right. Well, at least we have a little stock of glue to play with. Our burn should be done by now, and we can restore our luxury pit burner to standard operations. Yes, a little bit of coal coke and some coal pieces. Hmm. I guess we do need that for a pencil eventually. Yes. Well, this is just very good fuel, is essentially all this is. And the coal pieces are just like charcoal pieces, except they apparently can't be combined into a single block. But we do eventually need them for a pencil. So we'll just hold on to them. need to make another set of grout. I'm going to need more seared bricks anyway. Piece of glue, and was it four clay? And Groot. Made in the Potter's Workshop. With a Roll from Nya. There. And. Yep. Okay, there we go. Lovely brick. And unfortunately, this is probably going to get rid of all the liquid clay in our stations. But, such is life. I shouldn't have filled them up so heavy. Oh well. It's done. And a piece of glowstone. One quest after another. It's like we've already done all this stuff. Almost. Who could have thought it? Let's just get a full... A full-on doing of this needs a hammer. There we go. Why you know? Oh, you don't have clay. Of course you don't have clay. I just emptied you out effectively. Well, now we're waiting on that. Let's get all these rewards sorted away. A Norman hoe. <laughs> Some decorative blocks. Fiber torches, why? Pile of wood chips, okay. At least we got some pulp. Pulp is always appreciated. Yeah, we got a full stack of those now. Yeah. 
Eh, sure, I'll keep the hoe. Just so that I don't need to eventually build a mattock. The Tinker's Mattock is the tool that uh, allows you to hoe ground. It is um, simply a tool rod, a axe head, and a shovel head. And it, uh, it acts like a slightly less effective hatchet and a slightly less effective shovel as well. I don't think it speeds up the digging of gravel or sand. So standard shovel is still useful. Um, I think it is a fully effective hatchet, effectively. I, I could have. Yeah, if, if I knew that... Um, if I knew ahead of time that Tinker's Construct Axe would not work for crafting, then I would have made a mattock instead of a hatchet. But it's fine. What's going to be next? The melter, seared faucet, casting table. It does want us to make a casting basin, so it's good that we made more uh, more bricks. Let's get rid of that. Away with those. And let's keep the dry brick. Is it useful for anything? Not really. Yeah. Yeah, let's not keep that. It's a getting there. Yes, now that I have a chisel and good tinker's tools, I could go out and start deconstructing some of the big, like the platforms and the ships out there and get up a bunch of blocks and start turning them into proper, like I could make myself a proper floor at least. And I would eventually want to make walls and a roof. But, uh, no, I think I'll wait for a tinkerer's hammer to really tear those structures apart. Yeah. And maybe for, uh, the tinkerer's armor so that I can really bypass the weight limit. That sounds like more of a plan. I suppose that while I'm waiting, I could be processing some more pulp and maybe completing my pit burner. We might as well. We have a lot of spare refractory bricks at the moment. We really don't have the sugar cane for it at the moment, though. Ah, yes, and uh, I was wondering. At one point I went and I looked it up, and it looks like a stash holds 10 stacks worth of items. So I'm guessing that uh, the reinforced stashes will be double as most reinforced things are, so this could hold up to 20 stacks of sugarcane. Pretty formidable. Not bad for early game storage. And make no mistake, we are still in the early game of Journey Beyond the Abyss. Yeah. Alright, so seared bricks. We just need to take those over to the Mason's Workshop. First of all, let's pick up our melter. Pick up our seared faucet. Our casting table. Our casting couch. And it wants me to make a... It wants me to make a drain for some reason. Is that just the standard pattern? Yeah. And a basin. Let's make another faucet for that. Cool. So, 
even though I, I wasn't super, super enthusiastic about it, we ended up making a uh, basin anyway. That is just for casting out blocks of metal or blocks of stone or what have you. And the sear drain is part of the smeltery. I don't know why we're making it now. Ingot cast. Okay. I haven't made one of those yet. I shouldn't have thrown that brick out. It's fine. We'll just use one of these. I need to pick up some more masonry. Let's do that while the gold is melting. So, first of all, let's, uh, so I'm starting out at 13 gold, 23 silver. Ending up at 19 gold, 55 silver. Yeah. More than six gold. That is immense. That is like, do that roughly, hmm. 12-ish times and you'll end up with us with an extra life. That is not bad. Not bad at all. So let's just two, three. And now we can No, oh, I'm still carrying. Ah, but I can carry a fourth stack now. Yes. Or if I was being more mindful, I could carry two stacks at full speed, which would probably be more reasonable. Just slow roll our way back home, limping, panting. I am technically sprinting right now. This is just how fast I sprint. Okay, and before I forget about it, take that out. Oh yeah, I guess that's another thing I could do. I think these cobble variants shouldn't have weight. No, they do. Sometimes the uh, variants will have different weights or no weight. That's a thing to check. Got both of the unwanted byproducts in one pull. That was unfortunate. loving this badly. Making me look bad, game. That's fine. I think I want to keep some smooth stone on hand anyway. Yep. There we go. Nice collection of smooth stone and masonry bricks. That should keep us stocked on that for a goodly while. And 
we actually have a decent stock of pulp for once. Alright. What was I waiting on this time? I don't think I was technically waiting on anything. It is getting late and I am getting tired. If you cannot tell by the increasing levels of derp. I guess let's sort all this away. Ah, I was waiting on that to melt. I was waiting on the gold. Hmm. How does this stuff look? That is but ugly. Goodbye, sir. Do not darken my doorstop again. Just like that, it is all away from us. Aww. Okay, so what do I need to make an ingot mold? Because any brick-shaped object should do it. I guess it just doesn't recognize masonry bricks. That's unfortunate. Oh well. Regular old brick I saw very first item on the list. It's not as bad as it could be. You could ask for something very specific and rare. In any case. So wait, and now it wants gold as a quest item? I needed gold to get the last quest. Why are you... why? I, perhaps I can use this... yeah, that's... That's bizarre. You're being weird, game. Are you feeling okay? D do you need a hug? Okay. Well, we have made quite a degree of advancement, and it looks like now it is building up. Yeah, this is getting into the... It's building up to the smelter right now. So, I think that sounds like a nice problem for next time. I think that despite... Despite myself fighting myself as hard as I possibly could, I have managed to conquer myself, and I have managed to claw out a nice bit of progress today. So, next time, it looks like we're going to get started on building the smeltery. Or at least, we're going to start on the precursor of the smeltery. I'll see you next time.